Welcome back to John's Films. Today I'm going to teach you how to bleep the words out of your videos. To make sure that YouTube doesn't demonetize this video, I have removed the curse words out of the clip. And I did that exactly like I'm going to get this last word. This last word is a particularly spicy curse word. And I can get it by using the blade tool. So I hit B on the keyboard and then hit a shift and the left click to cut both the video and the audio track associated with this. Now I can, having selected that on both sides, grab this white bar and just drag it down. What this does for me, there we go. What this does for me is it allows me to draw the volume of just that word directly down. Now I need to figure out how to generate some sort of tone. And I could go to a stock website, no problem with that, and download a bunch of clips, but I want to teach you how to fish. Clicking the music notes below, I'm now moved to the Fairlight tab and I've added a track by right clicking in this gray space and clicking add and I can go with mono or stereo. Adding this track gives me a place to put a beep. Now I just need to generate a beep. I can do that by coming over to again on the input that I'm at, A2. No input, I'm going to add an input. Here in my patching panel, I can click on the inputs and choose system generator. Here I just need the oscillator. I've mapped it into my bleeps, left and right channel. Again, mono or stereo doesn't really matter. And now that I've got those mapped, I'm able to come up into the Fairlight tab, and here I can use the test tone settings. This is a neat place here in Fairlight where I'm now able to generate some tones. In fact, you can hear those tones by turning on and arming it for record. Once I arm it for record, it's not actually writing to the track, you can see. All I've got to do to make that happen is to click this record button. So I'll arm it, click record. Welcome back to John's Films. Today I'm going to teach you how to bleep the words out of your... Now that I've got this beep welcome back. recorded under my track, it becomes a simple game of just covering up the holes that I know that I've generated. If you'd like to be able to see these easier, you're able to right click and change your clip color, say to something like orange. And now I can very easily see which ones do I need to cover up. Going to hold down the Alt key on the keyboard or Command on Mac, and now I can drag and create a duplicate, which I can cover up that other bleep here. I know that this is one here. And if I kind of get towards the end of the video, there we go. More bleep space. And you go through your video and you just using the Alt key here, create a duplicate and drag it out and cover up any bleeps. Now it sounds like this. Now you know how to get rid of words. If you would, please click the damn link below that makes it go thumbs up. Yeah, so there we go. Now you know how to get rid of words. If you would, please click the damn link below that makes it go thumbs up. Otherwise, have a great day.